Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we I'm going to discuss about the .env files in React.js and this is a very important topic because in the previous video we just discussed that how, why we cannot actually connect to the databases because we have some uh, important credentials which we cannot expose on our React application because that can be easily readable by the users and why we cannot actually uh, add all of these credentials but in this video I'm going to show you if you have very sensitive data which is very important and you do not want to share with the users because it is very easy to actually read the browsers uh, if you click on the h12 you can easily see the source code files and you can easily read the data so now in this video i'm going to sh show you how you can hide the sensitive data before getting started with the video i have uploaded the complete react js developer course you can see on on this youtube channel you can uh, find my youtube channel amir Parvez. i have uploaded the complete details of the react js and these all are practical examples i also have shared the theories so you can understand these topics so nice uh, guys uh, let's get started and you can download the source code if you miss anything in the videos you can do practice as well as and also you can download the presentation if you need uh, more understanding of the topics i've created so now let's get started so what is the env file in react.js env file is actually we can see here dot env file in react.js what actually it is we use the env file because it actually uh, stores our data and i can write react.js so we can see what it is that actually so what is env file env file uses store sensitive credentials such as e API keys or usernames or password, we can hide this data from the user so they can they cannot easily read it. So now I'm going to create a practical example of this. I'm going to add file env demo. And now you can use this shortcut key. So great. Hide. I can write in h1. Hide sens sensitive data using .env file. Great. So now I can say, okay, great. So now I can pass the CSS classes. I can import this CSS class. Examples.css. So we can see this all this in the, in the middle. So now I can say API key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, guys. So now I need to use this. If I go here, I need to use this component and also import it. So I imported this component and now I need to pass the URL from where we get this component. Great. Okay, guys, great. Now I need to start and check it out. So uh, this topic is very helpful because uh, we actually make the database connections, a call to our APIs, and we uh, need to hide this data from, from our end users. So it's loading. It's connecting to a database. So great. So now you can see the API key. But if I click on the inspect elements you, and we go in the browser uh, inspect element, you can see here sources on the sources. Uh, we can find out these files easily and we can read this file also, as well as. So it's not a secure thing. If you go in the static files, uh, you can see here the sources. If you go in the topics, you can uh, env demo. So you can easily see. Uh, this data so we need to actually hide this data from the user so what we need to do i'm going to stop stop the project now all you need to do is you need to install uh, npm install uh, dot env and save first you need to do this and down now you need to create a new file here you can uh, see this uh, steps now you need to create a dot env file but remember one thing: uh, you need to create this file at the root folder of your root folder of your directory. So now, if I go here and select this, and now I need to create .env file. .env file, great. And now, great guys. So I created the, this .env file outside uh, this source folder, 
and now we need to pass the variable name so good practice is that you need to pass react underscore app underscore your variable name and I'm going to say it API key and you do not need to pass single quotation and double quotations right guys and now how we can use that we can easily say process dot env dot variable name right so if i go and check this out now okay i have stopped this already so need to start this project and remember guys after implementing this variable name process dot env dot uh, this variable name you need to restart your server it was recommended by the react it's a good practice as well as so if you restart this uh, it's going to actually bind this variable with your react code we need to check it out why it's not showing the variable value so guys i just restarted the service and you can see here now we uh, now a new value is here so now if I go on the inspect element and if I go in the source code and I need to check out this value is visible or not. So now you can see here we cannot read this value. So this is how important and how uh, useful this uh, .env file is and we can also hide it from uh, we just need to go get ignore and you can pass your value here .env and you can see here now if I save this and now you can see here this file is also not uh, visible in the project so this file will be ignored by the git ignore so thank you very much guys I hope you understand the topic and it's very useful file in in our react js projects in the next videos I, I'm going to show you how we can work with the real-time database cloud database and I'm going to create a new cloud database on uh, on firebase and i'm going to explain how we can work uh, how we can perform the get post update and delete uh, functionalities of with the database so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and comment and share with your friends and on social media thank you guys